Hola, señores y señoritas. Bienvenida. Gracias. Um, so, thank you for being here. Welcome. And this is Sage, Sunset Healing Tara. We're going to get some messages for you. These are your money messages. Happy holidays to you. I really do hope that you are well in this time, that you have a wonderful end of year, whatever, as we know it, end of year people, going into the so-called new year, as we know it, according to the time of mankind and the system. Um, so how are you going to take this? Because listen, you, 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 you have a lot of information, you know, you've been gathering a lot of information about the world. And about your well-being and whatever it is that you want you see the year 2021 was supposed to be an uncomfortable year you're not supposed to be sleeping well at all because it is there that mankind is supposed to be up and down back and forth in pacing trying to figure out what to do next so in that year you should have or all of us should have gathered some information about ourselves and 2022 is there we're gonna start building and creating you know, 2021 was the year that um, our intuition spoke to us about the ark. And God was saying, build this ark. So 2021 was the year that we went through, should I trust this voice or should I not trust this voice? What should I have done better? You know, that's 2021 year. 2022 is the year you get moving. You get to, to working, to building the ark. So these are going to be your money messages for today. All right. Hey, the nine of pentacles, Goku vibration, powering up inside out, self-empowerment, the ten of pentacles, beautiful, moving up. What is that? Ex <laughs> I'm getting the energy of going up through from middle earth all the way up through a tunnel. And, you know, we're going up and out, clearing up and out. Up and out 2021 2022. <clears throat> okay, let's see it. Open out, open out. There's someone on my channel with that name in it, you know. However, you're spending your holiday, I want you to. You may be alone, you may be with family, but I'd love it if you spend some time being self-aware like being in the moment of every day like i say whether you're alone or with people and just think of how you feel and then use that feeling to figure out how you want to move into 2022 the world you want to create it's like you're sitting in silence watching everyone but you're really just listening to your own emotions your intuition feeling how you feel and really deciding what next year will hold for you. You deciding that. So money messages. The two of pentacles. <clears throat> so that feels like some balance financially coming through. They open up. Open out. So let's see today's messages for you. All right. So we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is your vibration. But someone is stuck. So someone wants to move, but someone else is stuck. Or you are the same person. <laughs> I can't. All right, it feels like you want to move, but you're dealing with a part of you that does not want to move. You know, you're ready to go, but the other part of you is like, uh, -uh I'm not ready. I want to stay here forever. And it's just not ready, honestly. It's just not ready. It's dealing with something, this part of you that's not ready to move. But the thing is, majority of you is ready. You're ready, your bags are packed, you're like, come on, let's go, we're almost ready to get out of here. And then when you look, um, 
there's another person that's really not ready they haven't packed anything and you're like oh my god i thought we we're all in agreement here that we're we're moving on. What the heck are you doing? And this party is like, I'm just, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not ready to move. I don't know why. <clears throat> so, um, you know, the, the energy home alone, the Christmas movie, I got that a little bit. Where he was stuck at home. He wasn't ready. He got left behind. The king of cups. The father energy or the greater spiritual body or there's something about this one's foot immediately standing out. It's like getting a feeling but you can't put your foot on it. You know the energy of the father or the mother who felt like something was off. Like he was like hmm with his foot. Something is off, but I can't get it. There's someone missing. Oh, no. So it's like you're ready to go, but you're like, hold on. Something is off. We're leaving someone behind. Where is this person? You know? I feel you should trust your intuition. I literally just saw a female over here. A lady in a red dress with black hair blowing in the wind on the mountain. Um, anywho, and then here she is. Maybe this is the same person lying down here because this woman I just saw in the Knight of Cups energy, she. She's battered and torn. She's used to being out in the desert, in the sun, hot, in the heat. Heat rashes all over her and all these things. Her clothes are tattered and torn in the heat of the sun and the, the dryness of the wind. And she wasn't looking for love. She's staying alive, really. And but I don't know if she knows why she's staying alive. But she just, it, it may be um, the energy of ancestor, like the story is still held even in the formations of rocks surrounding us. Because here she is and here he is. So maybe he's coming up on her. Come on. He's getting closer to her. You know what I mean? You can see her here. And then what? Okay. This water sign may be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. What is he bringing? And he's a fairy as well. He's like the fairy of the mists or something. So he just comes out of the mists in time. Uh... Maybe he's the arrival of the dawn breaking, the newness. I feel like someone was just tired of going on, really, the cycle. They are the, the one that didn't want to continue going on, somehow holds some information. And we should probably listen to it. Um, because it felt like he may have a point. We should change something. Why is there a part of us that still, like a part of us that still is not ready to move on? And move on to where? What is the vision? What is the vision? Is this part of us just not sold on the vision? What is it waiting for? 
to move on. It's just not yet able to see the sunrise, the light, the vision. It's not yet able to see that because it is still in its search, in its feeling, in its unknown feelings of like maybe that dark night where nothing makes sense, like what is everything. And but the light is coming up though and so something is going to like a realization a person a person is going to find out why they want to move and they have to it's almost like this person is going to realize that they've been waiting for something external to prove to them why they should move they've been waiting for that external vision when it is i can't explain it is the answer is found even within the act of not wanting to move it's like an awareness and enlightenment. Like this person is going to realize, ha, huh, okay, it is me that have to want to move then. And almost like this person just get up on their own and start moving, even becoming the leader, directing, because they now know where they want to go. Oh my God, the king of cups. Yes, this person's intuition is... And they're leaving, leading with their intuition. I remember when I was saying that father had a feeling that something was off in his foot. Something in his foot. He couldn't put their foot on it. So they just weren't ready yet. And now that they're ready, they emerge as just, as just walking in front. You know, not even speaking a lot. But just guiding. Just moving ahead. You know, and I feel divinely guided. It's giving me the energy of a parable, something I read when I was a child. You know, back in school, we had these books like um, The Magic Wishing Tree, The Fat Girl and the Mango. But it was all about life, really. I wish I could get my hands on those books again because I would read them with a different understanding. No, The Fat Girl and the Mango. It was all parables. And this wishing tree where this man had the ability, he just came up on a tree. And he was lucky, he was poor, but he just met this tree. And he started to wish for everything he wanted. And the tree rained it down on him. So this energy is giving me kind of a parable vibration. You know, something simple, but yet so profound in its unfolding. How this person awakened or gotten that enlightenment. The dawn is breaking. And has even become a spiritual leader without even, I don't know. So just, I feel like patience has paid off. Because you found what you were looking for. The, the Ace of Swords is Christ Consciousness Vibration. <clears throat> Someone came with the truth. Because, you know this remember i was saying this person is like gonna help you your savior or they're they're like the fairy of the mist or something why do they come i'm not sure why they come yet uh but they come with this sword did they give it to you i feel like it is yours they just come with its energy the sword is also a great force of love to come to you with that power that captivates you it's really like an enlightenment i'm, I'm like buddhist kind of vibration where the enlightenment makes you quiet because it's so deep inside where you just start it's like a beautiful transformation look at how this love oh my god Whoa. The feeling of how this love is come in. It's so beautiful, powerful. And I feel it did come in in the darkest hour of the night for you. And is you like took back control or possession of yourself. You started to trust yourself, your intuition. Your 
your directness you know damn you were dealing with a lot mm -hmm. oh my god there you go dream come true Hey, I like that. Your dream is coming true. The King of Cups, like your vision is coming back. You feel happy, like you can visualize a future. Uh-huh. You know where you're leading. The, you know where you're going. It's because, oh my God, see, you're moving from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Cups. Because remember I was saying, it's almost like you didn't have a vision of where you were going and it made you feel like you're just not ready. But when you do have that vision, and it's not like you have it, it's just become this vision. Become. And it always is, but you just didn't see it yet. And then you allowed yourself to see and it has a lot to do with love a powerful mindset a connection to your spirituality your intuition trusting in where it is going to lead you where you deserve to be in a place where you can flourish at your best some of you are gonna have a family if that's what you're hoping for, like, look at this. Where you can be at your best. <clears throat> um, you're going to leave behind, see, the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands, which can be a little bit of chaos or disarray, disagreements, a lack of clarity, a lack of vision. But for me, it's, um, it's also the Five of Wands. One's energy is also you creating your vision. You know, you need the details to put this story. It's all like a, a, all of it. The story matters. Everyone else's opinions, like the dialogues of each character, we should hear. And it helps us to create what we want. Because I like seeing the five of wands. It's not just chaos, it's creation. Because creativity can be chaotic. It's like art. You know? When you look at it, it may just, it may not make sense. But when you really stand back, <clears throat> art is just not complete. But sometimes art gets messy. And then you move from the five of the messy art to the vision that you couldn't see because sometimes even I like to paint and you know sometimes I'm painting I don't know what it's what it is yet so that's how a vision is created you don't know what you're making sometimes you don't know what the story is that you're writing and that's why it's not clear that's why you just don't know how to move forward yet it was a bit messy the art was in progress you know so don't give up just continue looking, working, putting the pieces together. And then stand back. Get a bird's eye view. And that's coming to you. Because the Ace of Swords is higher consciousness. Christ consciousness. A higher awareness. So you're about to get that perspective. But it's not higher. It's more into. It's almost like you're going to see through this whole art to see what it the, the to see what the collective energy of it is really putting together you know one time i painted something a mural on my wall i just started out with a circle and then i just i started painting bits and pieces around it and it looked like this like chaotic i was like what the hell am i painting I, I was, I swear, what I, I don't know what I was painting. It was a circle and I added a little bit of this and that. And then it turned out, I, I sat down and looked at it for a while, one night. 
while I was um, by myself. I got the energy to really sit down and observe what I was painting. And it turned out to be a woman that was floating on water. And she came out of a flower. And the, the circle behind her was the sun or the moon or both. And I was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And so I got a greater picture of how to complete this vision. And I ended up researching this feel, this um, thing that I was painting. And it turned out to be a goddess. It's literally, She was literally a goddess that was painting, but I didn't know. Continued. And we have the high priestess. There you are. So this is the position in which you're sitting right now as the high priestess. Beautiful. Seer of all things, like I say, you're getting this. Like I'm saying, it's not just a higher perspective, you're also getting into the details of the art. Oh my god, see that? You are a visual, a visual, a visualizer, a visioner, a seer, gifted. You can see in through things, a healer, too. And, um, yeah, you can make it right, you can become organized through the chaos <clears throat> yeah look i'm not kidding you're gonna be putting in the work the internal work here to heal even working on your business growing what it is that you love something you're gifted at wonderful wonderful like the eight of pentacles you know you're selecting how you spend your time you're working on things that add value to your life you see this person looks happy looks well Remember, these are some amazing cards. The Tower. The Tower and the Ten of Cups feels like hallelujah energy. Explode or be dismantled. It's walls. Walls. dethroning jeez because they won't see it coming <laughs> it's like detox oh my god you see after that detox a lot of beautiful things happening after detoxification and a lot of work actually like i feel like plenty of work to do to rebuild but good work happy work you know it's good it feels like people that are ready to communicate form a community to work together to rebuild it feels good. Oh my, look at that. So the outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. And that is your today message. So, like I'm saying, I, it's brand new prosperity feelings of good vibration. And it is after this ends. People have been waiting for this to end. Maybe prominent prominence or dominance. All right, something is gonna be restored for you. Um, and I feel it's your healing, your well-being, your financial well-being. I feel like it is something that you've been working on healing or clearing out for a while. Or not just you, but it feels like a, a combined effort of people, maybe for years, that have been trying to clean up something. You remember I was saying you didn't, you weren't sure what your vision was, and then you finally had that vision, that dream come true. So your dream is coming true, and then this tower card is you're seeing it all the way through. <laughs> so you're. Maybe you found an answer to something that's going to help to restore love, well-being, harmony, 
balance. And that is coming in for you, all right? Cancer. So we did see the King and Queen of Cups in this message. It could be a gift from those who share a similar vision as you. Someone that may be watching you want to send you a message or they, they intend on, I don't know, connecting with you. This could be a soulmate past, soulmate energy or a soulmate. Oh, yeah. Some just systems that are not working anymore. Oh, so what is the Ace of Pentacles? You know what? That was so powerful. That was really well done. I can't put it into words, but that felt nice. Like I see, Queen of Cups. <laughs> Like I say, you're going to be successful. You're going to see it through. Because the Ace of Swords, yeah. You have found the answer. The truth. Speak the truth. Speak it clearly. Get to the point. Alright. So, I feel like you have found within you, even though it was hard, you found within you. You got an enlightenment, you got some assistance. Maybe it was from your soulmate, your soul tribe, and angel spirits, guides that see something in you. And you, this was destined, I feel, to, um, to happen for you that you would have gone through this dark period to find an answer, to have clarity in vision, to know what vision you want for yourself. And then you become a leader in this vision, undeniably trusting in your intuition, connection to this divine spirituality that enlightens you to what to go for, what you want. You started to work on yourself, all of that beautiful thing, work externally, internally. You still are doing it because it is also a part of the process going forward in this vision. And I feel like you saw it through. You, you found what was not working with the Ten of Swords. And I feel like what, 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 what brought you to the Ten of Swords, the dark times. And you, like your intention really was to just go and directly end this. It's like you decided to go straight to the root of the problem and uproot it. Because you, as if in that dark time you found where the root of the problem is. And you went straight to it, uprooted it, and it was like, yes, wonderful done it's done and the end of the end of the day something new came to being the ace of pentacles okay <clears throat> the ace of pentacles prosperity abundance inheritances success just well-being and i feel like that's what you want your dream come true so I feel you made your dream come true. You're, you're going to be connecting with soulmate energies too. Maybe a fire sign, honestly. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or anyone. Maybe receiving a gift. I said that already. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're leaving these messages here for you, Cancer. Thank you for coming through, and I do hope you found some messages that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey. <clears throat> if you did, please leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not yet done so, and share the messages you love by hitting share. Share to your Facebook, WhatsApp, and your social media. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. I will see you in the next one. Until then, remember that you are all and all is within you. Bye. Oh, kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah.